Hey, what is up YouTube? I am back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Donald Duck. So, if you want to make them, here's what you're going to need. You are going to need white wool, red wool, blue wool, yellow wool, light blue wool, black wool, light gray wool, yellow terracotta, and yellow concrete powder. And then later on, you will need brown terracotta and gray terracotta. Pause the video, grab all those materials, and once you have those materials, find where you want to build your statue, and here's what you want to do. You want to place eight yellow terracotta on the floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then going on top of that row, you want to do three yellow concrete powder, two yellow terracotta, three yellow concrete. Then for the next two rows, do three yellow wool, two yellow terracotta, three yellow wool. And like I said, that is for the next two. So place those down. Then for the next two rows, you want to do two yellow concrete powder, one yellow wool, two yellow terracotta, one yellow wool, two yellow concrete powder. And like I said, that is for the next two. For the next row, you want to do one yellow concrete powder, two yellow wool, two yellow terracotta, two yellow wool, one yellow concrete. Then for the next row, you want to do three yellow wool, without trying to place it outside, two yellow terracotta, three yellow wool. Then for the next row, you want to do one yellow terracotta, one yellow wool, one yellow terracotta, three yellow terracotta, one yellow wool, one yellow terracotta. Then for the next two rows, do two solid rows of yellow terracotta. Then do one solid row of light gray wool. Let's break this block right here. Okay. Double broke it. Oops. Oh. And once you have that, you want to leave... Yeah. You will be left with something that looks a little bit like that. And that right there is the end of your legs. Pause the video if needed. Get that done. Once you have that, you want to come up to the top here and you want to do... Coming up on the top, you want to do three light gray wool, two white wool, three light gray wool. For the next row, do two light gray wool, four white wool, two light gray wool. Then... For the next row, you want to do one light gray wool, four white, the uh, six white wool, one light gray wool. Then do a solid row of white wool. For the next row, do one solid row of blue wool. Then do one blue wool, two red wool, two blue wool, two red wool, one blue wool. Then Two blue wool, four red wool, two blue wool. One blue wool, six red wool, one blue wool. One blue wool, two red wool, two white wool, two red wool, one blue wool. Actually break the ends here, replace them with yellow terracotta. For the next row, do two blue wool, four white wool, two blue wool. For the next row, do... For the next two rows, do one blue wool on either side. So, for the next two. Fill the middle in with your yellow terracotta. But then on the second row, go in by one with your yellow terracotta. Then you want to grab out... Get rid of your yellow concrete powder, and let's say, um, 
your light blue wool here, and grab out your gray terracotta and your brown terracotta. And what you want to do is coming inside of the mouth, you want to do one gray terracotta on either side, then brown terracotta in the middle. Leaving you with something that looks a little bit like that. I know what you guys may be saying, this does not look like Donald Duck whatsoever. He will look like it closer to the end, just the body does not do it justice. Once you have the head on, it looks exactly like Donald Duck. So, what you then want to do is, once you have that, pause the video if needed. You want to come over here. You want to find this row, right here, where you have the first whites. And you want to do on either side, both sides are identical. What you want to do is you want to do three light gray terracotta. No, not terracotta. Three light gray wool, then one white. And I opened up my inventory there. Then do, we're going to go from left to right. You want to do two light gray, two white. For the next row, do a solid row of blue wool. Then, in, then a solid row of yellow wool. Do a solid row of blue wool for about one, two, three, four. Four solid rows of blue wool. So one, two, three, four. I actually make that five. Then what you want to do is one yellow terracotta, two blue wool, three blue wool. Then do one blue wool, one yellow terracotta, two blue wool. Do the same for the next row. Leaving you with something that looks a little bit like that. Once you have that, all you want to do is you want to come over to the other side and do the same exact thing. So, three light gray wool, one white wool. Going from right to left, you want to do two light gray, two white. Do a solid row of blue wool. Solid row of yellow. Five solid rows of blue wool. So, one, two three, four, five. One yellow terracotta, three blue. Then one blue wool, one yellow terracotta, two blue wool. Repeat that for the next row. Leaving you with something that looks a little bit like that for the front. Pause the video if needed. What you want to do is once you have that, you want to come over to the back side here and you need your yellow concrete powder. And you want to come down here and you want to go back by three with your yellow terracotta. So one, two, three. Fill in the middle with your yellow terracotta. Then for the next row, you want to do one yellow terracotta. Um, let's actually move that over. Two yellow wool. Two yellow terracotta. Stop breaking random blocks. Two yellow wool. One yellow terracotta. For the next row, do three yellow concrete powder. Two yellow terracotta. Three concrete powder. Do the same for the next row. I'm doing really bad today for whatever reason. Then for the next row, you want to do two yellow wool. Four yellow terracotta. Two yellow wool. Then you want to do one yellow wool, six yellow terracotta, one yellow wool. For the next row, do two concrete powder, four yellow terracotta, two concrete powder. Then you want to do one yellow wool, one concrete powder, one yellow wool. Two yellow terracotta, one yellow wool, one concrete powder, one yellow wool. Then for the next row, do one yellow terracotta, two yellow wool, two yellow terracotta, two yellow wool, one yellow terracotta. Then do one yellow terracotta, one yellow wool, one yellow terracotta. Actually make that four. One yellow wool, one yellow terracotta. Then do a solid row of yellow terracotta. Leaving you with something that look should look a little bit like that. 
pause the video if needed. And what you want to do once you have that is come up to the top here and just finish off the legs. Don't know why I did not do that, but yeah, it's just a solid row of light gray wool. Then once you have that, you want to do three light gray, two white, three light gray. Then do two white wool. No, not two white wool. Two light gray wool, four white, two light gray. For the next row, do one light gray, six white, one light gray. Then a solid row of white wool. Then do one blue, six white, one blue. Two blue, four white, two blue. Three blue, two white, three blue. Then do a solid row of blue wool. Then do a solid row of yellow terracotta. Then to finish off the back, do three solid rows of blue wool. Leaving you with something that should look a little bit like that. Ugh. And once you have that, you want to come over here. To either arm. And you want to do two light gray. Two white. Going from left to right. You want to do. Two white. Two light gray. One white. One light gray. Do a solid row of blue. Solid row of yellow. Five solid rows of blue. So one. Two. Three. Four. Five, then one yellow terracotta, three blue wool, one blue, one yellow terracotta, one blue, like that, repeating the row. So basically the back of the arms are the same except for the bottoms. I mean, that's the only difference. But yeah. That is what the back of the arms want to look like. Then all you need to do is come over to the other side and do the same exact thing. So, two light gray, two white, two light gray, one white, one light gray. Going from right to left. And then you just repeat the rest of the back of the statue. So, the front of the statue on the arms. That's all you really do. So yeah, there's more detail on the back than there is the front, I will say that, but compared, it's almost the same. So once you have that, you are 100% fully done with the back of your statue. Pause if needed, and then what you want to do is you want to come over to, um, let's say... Uh, both sides are not identical. So you want to come over to the left side here. And what you want to do is starting on the left, you want to do two yellow wool, one yellow wool, one yellow concrete powder, two yellow wool, another solid row of yellow wool, one yellow concrete, one yellow wool, one yellow concrete, one yellow wool. Then do solid row of yellow wool, another solid row of yellow wool, two solid rows of yellow terracotta, then a solid row of light gray. Leaving you with this so far. Once you have that, you want to come up to the bottom of the arms here and just fill them in with light gray wool or white wool, whatever your choice. And then you want to do solid row of white, solid row of blue, and all you're doing is you are just playing color match. So whatever is on either side, you want to match over to the one side. And once you reach the top, do the same thing. So where you see yellow terracotta, do yellow terracotta, and wherever you see blue wool, do blue wool, leaving that with the top. 
And once you have done that, that is the side, that is your left side, fully complete. Then coming over to the right here, the right is completely different from the left. So what you want to do is coming down here, you want to do two yellow wool, one yellow concrete powder, one yellow wool, two yellow con two yellow wool, another solid row of yellow wool, one concrete powder, one yellow wool, solid row of yellow concrete powder, two yellow wool, another solid row of yellow wool, two solid rows of yellow terracotta, a solid row of light gray, leaving you with something that looks a little bit like that. Once you have that, come up to the top here, fill it in with light gray wool or white wool, and then just play color match. So this row is just white wool, then you play color match. So whatever is on either side, you want to match over to the one side that you already have. So whether it's blue, fill it in with blue, where there's yellow terracotta, fill it in with yellow terracotta. You get the idea. That looks a little bit like that. Once you have that, get rid of your brown terracotta and grab out your light blue wool. Pause the video if needed. And once you have done that, you are actually complete with the whole body. The other thing we're missing is giving Donald Duck his defining feature. His okay, for whatever reason, the video just decided to cut there. But what you want to do is... For the start of the head, you want to do a solid row of yellow terracotta. Then come out by two rows with your yellow terracotta, like that. Then what you want to do is you want to do, for the very first row of your head, terracotta, one light blue, one black, two yellow terracotta, one black, one light blue, one yellow terracotta. For the next row, do one white, one light blue, one black, two white, one black, one light blue, two light blue, two white, two light blue, one white. Repeat that for the next row. Then for the next row, you want to do a solid row of white wool. Then do a solid row of black wool. Then do a solid row of blue wool. Leaving you with something that looks a little bit like that. Once you have done that, it is time to move over on to, let's say the sides. But coming over to the back here, you want to bring this off the back by two. Actually, no. You want to do one solid row of yellow terracotta. Then come off the back by two with your white wool. So one, two. There is only a little bit of detail on the sides here. You want to do three yellow terracotta. Then two yellow terracotta right there. Do the same thing on the other side. So, three yellow terracotta, two yellow terracotta. Then coming over to the back here, what you want to do is you want to bring this up by, let's say, um, five, one, two, three, four, five. No, four. You want to bring it up by four. Then you want to do a black wool. Bring that over to the other side here. Then do one black wool on either side. Then connect that up to the front here. Then right here, where there is the black wool on top of it, you want to do a solid row of blue wool. So that means the whole top of the head can just be filled in with your blue wool here. 
like so. Then everything below wants to be filled in with your white wool. So anything below the black lines are just white wool. So that is literally the only detail on the head. But we're going to make it look more like Donald Duck. So once you have that, you are actually done. Actually, no. Coming in on the back here, coming in on the right side, you want to count in by one block, break that block, replace it with a red wool, leaving you with something that looks like this on the back. And basically, once you have that, you are 100% fully done with your Donald Duck. But to make it look a little bit more like Donald Duck, you want to get rid of your light blue wool and yellow terracotta yellow concrete powder and grab out your two your two other terracottas and coming over to the front here you want to expand out all the yellow terracotta on the face by one then this expand out by two then do one gray terracotta two brown one gray terracotta so it looks like that on the side then the very last detail, if you want to add it, is you can expand out the bow here by one. So, there you go. Leaving you with something that looks a little bit like that. And once you have that, you are actually 100% fully done with your Donald Duck statue. Um, so, here's the number one question if you got through the video. With the 1K subscriber special coming up, and you guys like, do you think I can do this voice? If so, comment down below and what other voices you think I can do. And on that little note, I will see you guys in the next video. Mm, bye.